What up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back to another lyrical analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the song Mad World by Ayumi Hamasaki. And the song Mad World comes from Ayumi's album Made in Japan. And the song has a music video, although it wasn't a single, you know, an official Oricon music chart single. Um, you know, it was used to promote the album. <clears throat> And I retrieved the song lyrics, well, a translation of the song lyrics from shinitakashi.blogspot.com. So shout out to them and thanks a lot. All right, let's get into this lyrical analysis. Here we go. If trees could speak, what would they appeal for? So I guess if trees could talk, what would they ask for? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Chop down cruelly. They lie at the brink of death. Okay. So I'm guessing this is probably like a metaphor for something. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but let's keep going. The gods of luck are laughing at our endless stupidity. Okay. All right. Tell me, hey, if it's you, what would you think at such a time? Tell me, hey, if it's me, to whom should I confess the truth of what I'm thinking of at such a time shedding tears all right so now she's like asking us questions stuff like what do you think uh you know what am i thinking what's he thinking what's she thinking you know just all over the place with her questions Let's see next if the wind could speak what would it appeal for so if the wind could talk what would it ask for let's see it's colors and scent contaminated beyond recognition <laughs> I guess the I didn't know that the wind had color or even a scent really. Let's see. The gods of luck are laughing at our swelled hubris. I don't even know what a hubris is. Um, I think excessive pride or excessive self confidence. Hubris. Hmm. Learn something new. So, thanks, Ayumi, for learning me something new here. <clears throat> All right. Next, tell me, hey, if it's you, how do you live in this era? I don't even know how I live in this era, I, I really don't know. Tell me, hey, if this era is already making me sick to my stomach, where should I tell those true opinions? You can go to the tabloids. I'm pretty sure they're more than happy to hear your opinions, I, you mean. <clears throat> uh, TV show interviews. And, you know, you're doing making a song, so you're just telling it to us. Yeah. Next, it's meaningless if only I, one person, stands up. Will you wait like that for a stranger to take the initiative? So I'm guessing now Yumi wants us to take a stand for something. But she said, like, it's meaningless if only one person takes a stand for an issue. And then it's like, well, like, kind of like, will you wait for other people to take the initiative that you should take, really? And that's a good question. Um, I know sometimes when it comes to the um, videos that I make um, to post on my YouTube channel, I'm kind of like, I kind of wish that someone else would have made the video, but then I'm like, well, maybe, you know, hey, why not me, right? Why not I make the video, you know? That's kind of the part of the reason why, like, I'm here at this point anyway, you know? It's just like I didn't really see any type of kind of like, you know, I didn't see what I thought I should see or thought was a, a thought that I could see as far as like um, when it comes to, you know, Asian content in the English language, you know, kind of like commentary and reactions and reviews and analysis and things like that. I didn't see them as much especially for some of the songs that I would like to see them for so that's part of the reason why I wind up just you know kinda like starting the channel and doing what I do now All right. next tell me hey if it's you what do you think at such a time tell me hey if it's me to whom should I confess the truth hmm Confessionals, you know, go to the um, Catholic Church and do confessionals. 
of what I'm thinking of at such a time, Shed it, shedding tears. Tell me, hey, if it's you, do you live in this era? Well, how do you live in this era? Tell me, hey, this era is already making me sick to my stomach. Where should I tell those true opinions? And that's the end of the song. The song's kind of, I don't know, it seemed like it's trying to make a point, but it didn't really make the point. Kind of like vague, which sometimes Ayumi can be kind of vague in her songs. I don't really think this is the time for Ayumi to be vague, though. I think this is probably one of the times where Ayumi could be really forthcoming and straightforward and blunt and to the point. Um, I will say probably of the three songs that she made uh, music videos for, this would probably be the, like as far as I'm concerned, probably the least appreciated song um, and the least liked song. Um, the music video for this song isn't anything spectacular. Um, it starts off with Ayumi, and she looks like a mental patient, kind of like partially in the way that she's dressed. It just looks really plain and drab and like all white, and looks like a almost like a hospital gown from the top up, you know, from the top. <clears throat> um, and then at one point she changed changes into like a um, dress, and then there's like blood on her hands at one point where she's like on the ground and. She's behind like a backdrop that's showing footage of her in her concert. Um, so yeah, I think that, you know, I think that, you know, this song and music video are you know, okay. It's not the worst thing ever. You know, it's not the best thing ever. It's not the worst thing ever. Um, but as far as the three music videos that she's done for the album Made in Japan, um, you know, Winter Diary. Um, the other one is what's the other one? And Flower. Um, and of course, this video. I feel like this one would, for me, it ranks, you know, the lowest for me. But it's, it's you know, I'm sure somebody likes it. <laughs> you know. I think the music video didn't really captivate me, and the lyrics didn't really captivate me. They were kind of like on their way to, but never quite got there, you know? Um, but, you know, hey. You know, I will say that the tree metaphor was kind of interesting. Um, the wind metaphor, or the wind thing, a bit confusing. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately the song is a bit vague because it's the song is called Mad World, but where's the madness at? Where's the anger at? Like, either it's mad as in being crazy or mad as in being angry, and I don't see really either one. And sometimes Ayumi does do that when it comes to her song titles, where it kind of like the song title doesn't seem to have anything to really do with the song itself at times, and then other times the song title is like vaguely. Um, related to the lyrics, and then other times the song title will be related, you know? <clears throat> like her song, Winter Diary, that's, you know, strongly related. Um, Flower, you know, a good relation there. Um, this song, eh, I don't know, a bit, a bit odd, a bit vague. Um, but overall, you know, I'm sure somebody appreciates it. So, hey, feel free to let me know what you think. Feel free, feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next lyrical analysis, adios and goodbye for now.